Protesters are gathering outside a central London hotel tonight. It's likely to be the biggest demonstration since the leader of the French National Front, Jean-Marie Le Pen, arrived in the capital on Wednesday. Mark Jordan is at the Charing Cross Hospital, or hotel rather. Mark, what's Le Pen doing there tonight? Well, Anna Maria, when Le Pen goes to dinner, the protesters come out. The whole of the Charing Cross Hotel currently cordoned off, awaiting his arrival. He's here at the invitation of Western Goals Institute, a British right-wing group, rather impressed by his abilities to catch votes in France. They'd like some of that success over here. Jean-Marie Le Pen today spoke of his concern that nationalism in Europe had become a dirty word. He told of his fight to ensure French people in France have priority over foreigners. The problem of immigration, in our view, is one of the major dangers threatening not only France, but also the whole of Europe. We've gone beyond the limits of acceptance for foreigners. As Le Pen spoke, across London in the East End, it became clear that the British National Party will now enter the next general election on a Rights for Whites campaign, following in what they claim to be the footsteps of our good friend Jean-Marie Le Pen. Le Pen says he hasn't spoken to the BNP, but several Labour MPs are suspicious. And that's the purpose of his visit to London this week, to build a British end to a European network, really giving the same message that Europe is a home for whites, Europe is going to be a racist place, and he is promoting that degree of racism. Mark, who's going to be attending this dinner tonight? I don't think even they know that at the moment. Uh, the whole of the Tory front bench has condemned him, so if a Tory MP does turn up, you'll read about it tomorrow. Anna Maria. Thank you, Mark. And there'll be more in LWT News Weekend on Le Pen's visit to London and the changing face of the far right in Britain. LWT News Weekend on Sunday at 12.30. Meanwhile, Spurs have asked shareholders and fans to dip into their pockets to ease the club's debts. The club chairman, Alan Sugar, announced the rights issue in the city today. The target is £7 million to enable Tottenham to resume stock exchange trading in the new year.